what's up guys divine echo here and welcome back to the channel just wanted to hop on and give you guys a late night story um don't know what we can expect out of this one feels a little sensual this is going to be for the collective and uh we'll go by We'll just see how it flows, okay? So with that being said, keep in mind that this is just a story. It may be your story. It may be someone's story around you. It may not be anybody's story at all. Either way, it's just a story. And as I am meditating on this energy, the words, if you just let me, comes to mind. So I don't know if you maybe need to reach out to somebody who has stepped out of your life in some sort of fashion. And maybe it's time that you want to prove yourself. Feeling like you're saying you don't want to be a memory. Maybe you've come to a realization that um, what you had, maybe you miss it now. So with that being said, keep in mind that I don't read the tarot in the traditional manner. I read as I see, I read as I hear, and I read as I feel. So what the traditional meaning of a card may have for another reader I may not see here or feel that, okay? Keep in mind, this is just a collective reading. If I feel, to need, feel the need to call out signs, I will. And also, I don't read reversals. So, with that being said, give me a late night story, spirit. <laughs> like a thief in the night. She walks away. Without a word, without a message, without a note, without a hint, she leaves. She loves you. But something just wasn't right. She needed a mature man. And I don't know if you were that for her. So this is going to be a feminine to male energy. So far from what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. So she left. left you locked into the same community, the same home, the same town that you were in, you are always in. Maybe you were afraid to move along. Maybe you were afraid to take a leap of faith. But she couldn't wait on you. So she took what she could and she left. I hear she thinks about you and you still think about her. You have a connection. You visit each other in each other's dreams. And in those dreams, you send a message of concern. You want to know where she is. You want to know what she's doing. You want to know if she still loves you. You want to know if she still thinks of you. Bottom of the deck. Courtship. She's saying to herself, 
if you came back to her, if you found her, could she trust in you? She's saying that she didn't know what you really thought of her in the beginning. You were not mature enough to let her know how much you uh, cared about her, how much you loved her. So she had to take a different path and look for something that was going to make her happy, which left you here, stuck, grasping outside, but can't really tight, quite reach her. When you really look back on it, she was that unexpected income. She was that unexpected gift that you overlooked like a song in a playlist that you always skip. But then one time you just let it play and let it flow and realize how beautiful and magnificent it was. Your expectations of her was wrong. She was so much more than what you perceived. All she wanted was love. I hear that you guys had such a passionate beginning. That's what hooked her in. The love, the passion, the fire hooked her in. But it was always something missing and it was that affection. That mentioning of the words, I love you. You couldn't do it. Courtship. From what I'm filling out of this card here, and I'm putting it underneath the community card, you had many. You had many. And that caused her to have some concerns because she knew deep down that she wasn't the only. great fortune. You're now realizing that this was a great fortune. This was a great opportunity to have met someone so magnificent. But you let it slip through your fingers like sand falling between your fingers. And there was only so much she could give until she had to give up. So again, like a thief in the night, she walked away. And now you're wondering, concerned, where could she be? If I find her, what would she think of me? Maybe I've changed enough. Maybe I'm a new person. But I'm concerned, can I be enough for her? Can I show her that there's something different in this world that I can give her? You want to be this main male, but you have no clue what life is in store, has in store for her now. And that now leaves you in despair. Because you don't know. You don't know where she is. You don't know what she's doing. You don't know if she has someone else. She was that privileged lady. And because you didn't recognize it, someone else did. She also did herself. 
And by coming upon that type of energy, that brought upon sudden wealth. And his sudden wealth doesn't have to be material. It can be in self-esteem, spirituality, friendships. Maybe you had some things that you needed to work out. Maybe it was some legal things that you couldn't speak of. But that didn't give you the right to play mind games. So. Now you sit back and you think of her. You wish you could paint all the colors of the love that she gave you. But. Because she's gone. You can't. You're lost. She was that gift that you didn't even realize you had. She was that one lover that changed your, your view of life. That she changed your view on love. She held you, kissed you, touched you in such a deep way that you'll never forget her. The times you spent together in each other's homes were just magical. It just flowed. It just felt right. But because you were afraid of commitment, because you maybe had some other issues going on, maybe you couldn't fully embrace this home. Maybe there were some issues with health. Maybe the bad health was you not being able to open up and love. And because of that, now that she's gone, this has put you down. It has killed your dreams of what love could be because you're lost without her. You've had others who were mimicking what she could offer you, but each one of them was a false person. Maybe she sent you a message, and maybe you got this message and there was no return address. There was no information to lead you back to her, and this also left you concerned. So maybe you set out on a journey looking for her high and low, in and out, different places. I'm seeing 10 different areas you've looked. But like this childlike energy, you couldn't find it. You couldn't find this inner child. You couldn't find this newness in any other person, you can find this fresh energy in any other person but her. And now that you've maybe settled your deal with courts, or maybe you were involved with someone who you needed to have a um, make a um, separation between or divorce, and squaring away all of that. Maybe you're really trying to find this person. Maybe you've changed jobs. Maybe you're looking for a job in the area that you think this person, this female may be. Or maybe this has become a job in researching and trying to find where this person is. You want this person to know that you've changed. You want this person to see that there's a big difference in your life between the time that they knew you and left and the time that you spent building yourself back up. You hold this person in high honor, in high regards. You have a lot of respect for her. She was the one person that stood up to you, didn't take your BS and walked away.
And now you're looking, you're asking around, maybe hiring a private investigator, maybe researching any law enforcement databases. Um, I don't know, I'm hearing you probably have access to DMV information or whatever, but I'm still like, you're looking, you're looking for her as far as maybe where she's working, what type of field she's in. Maybe you've come up on some wealth and this is why you can spend all this time looking and searching for her. And you may find her. This is the distance horizons. You may be able to anchor her back in. But are you ready to commit 100%? Because if not, you've got to remember she's a mature woman and she needs a mature man. And a mature man is ready to commit. And if you're not, you'll be left like this with nothing. Without her, at least. She'll be gone. And all you'll have is this empty room to sit in and just contemplate about what you had in your hands. What you lost. And what your expectations were. And what you expected her to be. How submissive you wanted her to be. How oblivious you wanted her to be to whatever intricate relationships you had outside of her. You wanted her to sit here and just wait. And she got up and she left. Because she knows who she is. She's the main female. She's the alpha female. And because of that, she left like a thief in the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This was for the collective, and um, I want to say that this is just a story, and keep in mind it could be your story, could be someone else's story around you, could be nobody's story at all. Either way, it was just a story, a late night story about love that got away and with that being said I love you guys sending you peace love and light and high energy peace out echo out